Hi, Amber. Hello. Hi, uh, what would you like to ask Deirdre? My eight-year-old daughter, she just rules the roost. Um, every time we go out shopping, she just rules everything we do. OK. OK. So does she upset. throw tantrums and...? Yeah. Uh, if besides she can't have something, she'll throw a tenter tantrum in the shop. I've walked out shops, yeah. uh, restaurants. If you if she can't have anything she wants, um, if we say to her, "This is your money to go in the shop today," she say, and but and then we'll say, she, "Say if I only give her a pound to go in the shop, but she wants more all the time." And yeah, a couple of background questions I could do with asking you. One thing is, how is she at school? What do, what reports do you get about her behaviour in school? Very, very good. Very good. Yeah, isn't it frustrating? <laughs> Yeah. And so, actually, but the, the good side of that is, actually, this is basically a perfectly OK little girl, but she has really learnt how to rule you. Um, yeah. So you've really got to toughen up here. And can I just ask, is her dad still around in your lives? Yeah, yeah, yeah she okay. is, yeah. Right, so you've really got to toughen up here and you've got to not care about other people in the shop, you know, frowning and doing all the things they do in the shop. And you've just got to think, you know what, it's really important I sort out this behaviour problem. And whatever the rest of you lot think, you know, you can just get on with it. And let her have her tantrum if she's going to do it. But absolutely do not give in to it, because every time you give in to it, she gets the message that that awful behaviour works. So just hang on in there. You know, you've done... It's a really good thing to agree before hand, you know, she can have so much to spend and that is it. And then when she starts trying to get more out of you, just don't give in to it. Maybe you'll have to, you know, sometimes decide it's so bad you are going to leave, but don't give in. And honestly, it will calm down. It will do. I, I had to do it with Harry once in the middle of Marks and Spencers and I wanted to die. It was the worst thing. He went, he just flipped. Went. And I thought, if I just take you out or if I just cave or if I just give in, I know you're going to do this again and again and again. And I thought, and it was the mo I wanted the ground to open up because everybody was, and they were going, well, there's that Holly Willoughby. She's not very good about this. <laughs> and I wanted to die. But I tell you what, he didn't, he didn't do it again then because he didn't get the reaction he wanted. And it wasn't worth it because he didn't get, I can't remember what it was, he, but he didn't get what he wanted. Yeah. You've got to follow, you've got to follow up on your punishments as well. So if you say, we did, I did it once, I got into trouble with Steph quietly, but the girls were playing up. We were supposed to be going out. I think it was to Thorpe Park or something. We were going to go out. And I said, if you carry on, we're not going. If you carry on, we're not going. And they carried on. I said, right, that's it. Out the car. Come on. Back in. Close the door. And Steph said, what the hell are you doing? I said, well, we're going. She said, I've got nothing in the house to eat. We're supposed to be going away. <laughs> but that was it. And, and we did. I think you've got to carry on. You've yeah. got, got to carry to, it through. Yeah, you absolutely have. So hang on in there. Don't worry about the other people thinking in the shop. Let the tantrums, they will then gradually die away. The trouble is she's got away with having quite a few tantrums. So it'll last for a while. But I promise you, Holly's absolutely right. It will calm down once she realises she doesn't get what she wants. Yeah. Thanks, Amber. Yeah, good luck with that.